What did you think of the box? Was it good? Was it worth it? Yeah. yeah. Hi everyone, it's Laura and welcome to my channel. So today is an unboxing day, but it's, an, it's a special unboxing day for me because I have the Glossy Box Calendar, the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. Maggie's just come into the room. Hi Maggie, you coming up? Come on in, come on in. Quickly. Right. Maggie's joining me. Hello Mags. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and Betty's in the room. Okay. Okay. Um, after a hug and a discussion, Maggie's going to join us. Um, I think. So basically, I have got this year's glossy box advent calendar. Okay, all I want. It's huge, it's really huge. Now this I believe is £99 to non-Glossy Box subscribers, £75 to Glossy Box subscribers with a chance to pre-order it, which um, is what I did. It arrived yesterday and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and open this and see if it's worth the money. So it comes, like I said, like this and it's absolutely huge. Um, right, Max? So... I'm going to have to move her. Maggie. <laughs> so, you open it up and it's like this. <laughs> Pain in the bottom. Okay, let's try it like this. It's so huge. It's got some words down the side here on this side. And then the same again. This side, oh, this side's got number 25. Okay, so let's have a little look. So when you open it up and you look inside, there are lots of little... Maggie, you're in the way. You're in the way. She doesn't care. She doesn't care she's in the way. There are lots of little boxes and they're all stacked. So they're all stacked like this. And you have number 25 on the door just here. So let's go ahead and open number one, which is just here. And it's a little box. And what do we have? Oh my God. Blue dog. I have blue dog now. My dogs just don't want me to do this video today. When did blue, can I come? Blue dog. <laughs> Right, so, um, if I open, open this up, it's got lots of little squiggles in it, and, ooh, a NARS, what is it, it's immoral, and it's a velvet lip glide, fond, velvet lip glide fondant. So, I've never had any NARS products before, so I'm excited about this because I've seen lots of advertised, seen lots of people using it, but I've never actually used any myself, so this will be interesting. Not my foundation on my hand, sorry. It's very pink, it's like super pink. But hopefully it won't wear so pink when you wear it, maybe? I don't know if you can see that. But that's the colour. It's very pink, but it's very nice. Um, it might be a bit pink for me. I say whilst well, wearing purple lipstick, but um, it might be one that when it wears on, it actually looks like a pretty blush. If I smudge that down, it's quite nice and subtle. So I will try that and see. But I'm excited because I've never owned an NARS product before. So that's really cool. Um, I'm wearing the Halloween lipstick that I got, the Trick one. So yes, that's cool. That's number one. Pop that back where it came from, and let's look for number two, which is over here. So, what do we have in number two? I love that they're little boxes, and I love that you're able to just put them back where you got them from. Okay, and in here we have oh, a knit and fab hydrate dragon's blood fix plumping serum. Hi, Jack. 
Jack's come to join us. Hello, handsome. Um, okay, so again, I've had a couple of Nip and Fab products in probably my Glossy or my Birchbox subscriptions. So that's a nice sample size. And this is a 30 mil size. So that's very cool. Hello. <laughs> You're so funny, Maggie. Okay, so pop that back. want to go back okay and in box number three which is right next to box number two we're going to see if we can get this one out it's a big box bigger oh it's quite heavy oh it's a candle oh it's a yankee candle it's a bigger size one these are about six pound i think to buy in the shop the berry trifle oh it smells Oh, that smells really nice. Oh, I like that one. Nice. I might even put that in my studio when I'm doing some work. That's cool. Pop you back. Why don't they go back in the same way they came out? It's a trick to this, I'm sure. I'll learn it. Okay, so that's number three. Oh, Benny's back. Hi, Benny. All right, mate. So, number four. Ooh, where's number four? Oh, God, so much here. Do, 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 number four. Ah, I see it. Right down here in the bottom. <laughs> Maggie is being super stubborn and refusing to move. She doesn't care. She says, like, nope, I'm here. Oof. Bit tricky to get out of that one, just because of the way that the boxes are kind of stacked. There are, like, little shelves, if you can see. In between like underneath two and in between two and 13 there's like a little shelf and then there's a little shelf between like 14 and 9 can you see just down here here there's a shelf just in there and then the rest are obviously stacked this is a super cool little um box though i think i'm uh, i might keep that okay number four we have benny we don't have benny we just have benny being a pain what do you want be scratched Oh, okay, so we have a Philip Kingsley. Oh, come on, light, don't be so bright. There we go, can you see that? There you go. Oh, I did that a little bit. There you go. Philip Kingsley bodybuilding conditioner. So that's quite cool, and again, decent size. And that's 60 mil size. So that's cool. And then we have, where's number five? Number five is, oh, it's here. Okay. Number five, what do we have? Okay, number five we have. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I'm just going to look in what it is. It says greater than and it says MDF, MDM flow. It's a mascara. Ooh, oh, okay. It's a mascara. So that's quite cool. And I'm just trying to see. Oh, greater than mascara. It just says greater than mascara. So I'm not sure what brand that is. MDM, I don't know, but I've not, I personally haven't heard of this before, but it's full-size mascara, looks nice, that's the, the brush just there, you can see, nice looking, <laughs> nice looking brush, um, yeah, okay, so that's pretty cool, we have that mascara, we'll give that a try, so that was number five, where is number six, number six, oh, it's just down here, um, so I'm finding the ones at the very bottom a little bit tricky to kind of get out because obviously they've kind of got things on top of them. I've opened this up, not the wrong way, but the other end was very squiggly filled. Okay, what have we got in here? It's in a box. Oh, this is that, um, ooh, um, is it called like Zena or 
I'm not quite sure how to actually say it. We've had products from them before, but this is called the Lip Primer. Okay, and it's just a little tube like this. Um, it's a 10 mil. I'm not sure if that's full size or if it's sample size. Um, what does it say anything? This lip primer acts as a perfect base for lipstick, providing a smooth matte finish and lasting colour. Um, and that's pretty much what it says. Let's just open it. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Quite liquidy. So just put it on there. It's very smooth. It blends out. So, cool. We'll give that a go. Always like lip primers. So that's number six. Uh, yep, yeah, number... Oh, I've lost a number. Number six. Okay, let's look for number seven. Day number seven. Here we are. Day number seven is just here. What do we have in day number seven? Oh, a patisserie de ban, strawberry cupcake, bath and shower cream. This is a 50 mil size. I've had a couple of um, stuff from them before. It smells really sweet, but I can imagine as a sort of a shower cream, that would be really nice and refreshing. So that's cool. Nice little shower cream just there. Travel size friendly as well, which is always a bonus. And that's day number seven. What do we have on day number eight? Number eight is up here. Oh, come on. Okay, what have we got in here? Ooh, we have a brush. Ooh, Expert Foundation Brush RT200. Oh, it feels nice and smooth. I always like a nice kind of packed foundation brush, so that's really nice. Cool, nice, nice brush. Again, don't really recognise the brand as such, but I'm not worried about things like that. As long as it feels nice, which it does, that's all we can ask for. Okay, number eight. So now we're on day number nine, which is down here. I don't need to do any music to this video today because Maggie's providing it. Okay, Charles Worthington, London, Volume and Bounce, Body Booster Mousse. So this is um, collagen enriched formula for an injection of body and control. So again, just a nice travel size kind of mousse for your hair. Okay, and this is a 50 mil. Day number 10. What do we have as day number 10? Oh, it's a big box, day number 10. It's a big box, but not like a huge product. <laughs> so it's a Bare Minerals sample by the look of it. Okay, and it's in Skin Sorials. Uh, skin, skin, skin Longevity. Vital Power Infusion. So this Empower promotes skin's vitality. Replenish, renew, fortify. Um, I'm not one hundred percent sure what it actually is, but we'll give it a try. Doesn't really tell you what it is, and like, I'm not quite sure. Oh, uh, okay. If I rip it open, I'll probably be able to learn more. But okay, cool. I like bare minerals, so that's always worth a try. Okay, so that was day number 10. Day number 11. Oopsie. Day number 11 is up here. What have we got in day number 11? The reason I'm opening for one end and going to the other is because one end, the product, if I show you when you open it, you can, you can see it there. Whereas when you open it from the other end, you just see lots of squiggles, so I know it's the wrong end, basically. Okay. Bella Pierre Cosmetics Kiss Proof Lip Finish. Okay. 
Application, after allowing the Kiss Proof Lip Cream to dry, apply the lip finish to a, in a thin layer all over the bo top and bottom lip. So I guess it's kind of like a lip, um, we used to, they still do it I think, it's called Lip Sense or Lip Coat and it's like a lip stick, lipstick locker inner as such and it will lock the colour in. So I guess that's the same kind of thing. Again, I haven't heard of them, but you know, not to say they're not good. Okay, so then we have day number 12. And again, another big box here. What do we have in here? Ooh. Ooh. It's a palette. Okay, so it's an MUA Makeup Academy palette, eyeshadow palette, in the shade Cosmic Vixen. Um, 15 complimentary eyeshadows curated in stunning hues with a soft and silky finish create a multitude of looks with the highly pigmented formulas in both matte and pearl that blend easily. Um, okay, so it's sealed, so I'm not going to go into swatching, but it looks really, really pretty and maybe I'll do a review on that and see what we think of it. Um, maybe I can do a look using like the lipstick, the, um, you know, we've had lipstick, we've had mascara, we've had eyeshadow, uh, lip primer, lip coat. So there's definitely potential there. I love the look of this colour just in the centre here. It's quite a coppery red looking colour. Um, it's definitely my kind of palette. So we'll see. Now MUA is a more um, drugstore, budget drugstore brand. But that's not to say that they're not a good company. So give that a try. That was number 12. Number 13 is just over here. Again, this is what I mean. Like, I've obviously opened it from the bottom because it's, like, right down here. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Um, a charcoal cognac sponge. Um, so, in the birch box this month, I had, like, a charcoal sponge soap, which I've been using every day, and it's really nice. Really, I wasn't massively impressed with the birch box this month. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You can see my review. It's uh, I'll link it at the end. But... Um, that was one product I was quite impressed with and I've been using it daily and I have to say it's been really nice on my skin. It, I felt it, my skin does feel really, really clean. Um, and I've also got my own little sort of charcoal sponge. So it's like this. I already had one. I'm not going to lie, I bought it for a pound from the pound shop. Obviously it wasn't a Karma, Karma Medieu brand. Um, but it's a little little sponge. It's hard. It feels hard now, and you soak it. And what I was doing was I was using the charcoal soap, and then I was using a little sponge, like exactly like this, to wipe away the excess. And it felt really nice. My skin did feel really nice and clean. So um, that's really cool. I will say that after a couple of uses, it did start to deteriorate. That could be because I had a cheap one. Maybe this one won't do that. But it was a really cool little product, so I'm happy to use that, and it's good to have a new one. Okay. Oh, that goes in here. So that was box number 13. And now we have box number 14. Oh, this one feels heavy. Oh, I opened it at the wrong end again. It should be an arrow that says, open this one. Oh, okay. So this is a Refibra Hair Care Concentrated Restoring Mask. Okay, it's a large bottle. It's a 100 mils. You can see it there. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. It's a hair mask, so that's pretty cool. And it's good to see a nice big sort of product of hair mask because we always kind of tend to get like a tiny bottle like this kind of big. So that's pretty cool to see a full-size bottle there. So, well, I assume it's full size. I don't know. Okay. So that's box number 14. Box number 15 is just above it. Here. Ooh, okay. <gasps> okay, this is in incredible. And it's a jelly shot lip quencher. Um, let's see if we can open this. It's because of the sparkles at the bottom that's caught my attention. I'm not quite sure. I want to open it. World's most impatient person. Ah! It's 
got a flower in it. Can you see? So it's got like little gold, little gold flecks. And then it's got a flower inside the lipstick. I've heard of these, but I've never had one. So I'm really chuffed to try one. I mean, it is, oh, it's really, it's clear and glossy. So it's, you won't be able to see it. It's really clear and glossy. It's just here. It feels really smooth. So that is cool. I always wanted to try one of those. So I'm happy about that. That's box number 15. What's in box number 16? Where are you? Oh, it's right next to number 15. Oh, okay. It's, it's pigment. Pop Beauty. Now, again, I've had Pop Beauty in a little eyeshadow palette, and I've had that from um, my Birch Box. That is one of the products I've had twice from my Birch Box, which has miffed me a little bit because it, it was the exact same. Sorry, I need a slurp of coffee. And it is early in the morning. Um, and so, yeah... Um, the eyeshadow was nice. It didn't wow me because it was just a brown eyeshadow at the end of the day, but I didn't hate it. It had nice colour and pigment to it, but it's just a brown eyeshadow quad. So this looks super, super pretty. Um, I know if I try to open this, it's gonna go everywhere. And yet I don't listen to myself. Anyone else get impatient like me? Try and open this. Yeah, you know I'm not going to try and open it, but it looks like a really lovely metallic brown. Definitely looks like my kind of colour, so I'm excited to see that. I think I'll incorporate that into my potential look that I'm going to do with this calendar. Number 16. Number 17. We have... I'm doing number 17. Where are you, number 17? Oh, yeah. Cool, we've got another brush. A tapered highlighter Luxie 522 brush. I like the colour. It's great. I love it when you have coloured brushes because you can identify them when you're looking for them in amongst your tons of thousands of cut brushes like I have. Again, it feels really, really soft. So that's nice and nice brush. Thank you very much. Happy with that. Number 17. Number 18 is over here. Okay, we have in box number 18. Ah, oh, wrong end again. Just gonna look for it. Fluid Glowy Lollipops Paris, and this is 10 mil, and it is a face liquid highlighter. Okay, it's a very small little tube. I don't know if we can see it. It's Lollipop. These white tubes are difficult for me to show. Apologies. There you go. Oh, okay, so it's that kind of colour. Let's just go straight onto the hand with that. Oh, it's kind of, okay, let's have a look, see if we can do it a little bit. It was just the top, to be fair. Didn't actually put the screw, just got some of the product out. It's a very kind of goldy bronze colour. Let me see if I can put it here and what it looks like. It's very liquidy but it's very lightweight so it feels very light. Hmm. It's here. Can you see it? I can hardly see it looking into the eye so um okay. Right, mm. I don't know about that, if I'm honest. Like when you put it on, it just kind of goes on to, it almost looks like a, an eyeshadow. It's not got a lot of like highlight to it, but okay. Well, we'd, I, again, until you try it properly, I'm not going to judge. So it's cool, it's something different. And that's box number 18. Number 19 is up here. Ugh. 
Okay, and this is Crabtree and Evelyn Rose Water and Pink Peppercorn Hydrating. Quick, should we go hand therapy? Okay, always nice, nice. Ah, can get lid off. Can get lid off. Ow, so lid's like this. <laughs> Sorry, show you what it is. It's like this, but I can't actually get that lid off. Ah, teeth work. So let's have a quick look. Oh, it's sealed. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells, it does, it smells exactly as it says. It smells of rose, but not too overpowering. Let's just try a little bit. Okay. Oopsie. Drop the lid, but that's okay. That's nice. Nice and lightweight. And it's just got a nice, it has got quite a heavy scent. But not um, not too much. So sorry. I dropped the lid. Got it. Um, that's nice. Keep that in my bag. So there you go. A nice little hand tr hand cream, rose water and pe pink peppercorn. That's nice. Okay, that was day number nineteen. Get them back in. I do not pity the person that had to box these. Number 19, then we have day number 20. Okay, day number 20. Steve Laurent lip gloss. Um, now we have had, and I remember it being in pretty much like my first glossy box or the second, and we had a black liquid eyeliner from him, and it's quite nice actually. Sorry. I cannot let that go cold because it's a good coffee. Um, so it's a Steve Laurent lip gloss in eggplant. Now, eggplant to me is aubergine, which is going to be a, um, a warm, plummy colour. So let's see. Okay, it's a little bit more than a warm, plummy colour. It's a very deep colour, but very nice. Very Christmassy, I'll give them that. Wah! Wowzers, that's a dark colour, but it's a nice colour, a really nice colour. I will show you now when I put it back in the box. Can you see that? Wow, what a lovely colour. We'll definitely be rocking that in the Christmas months. So that was box number 20. So a lovely, Max has moved, Max is getting involved, see? Oh, there she is. Uh, number 20. So that's that one just there. So 21. So just four more days. Five more days to go. Sorry. This is a 25-day calendar. Which is super cool. So 21. Where's print? Oh, I see it. Right down on the bottom just here. Oh, sorry, Max. I'm not getting in your way, lovely. Am I getting in your way? Okay, so number 21. What do we have? Oh, okay. A Pixie by Petra. And it is a fresh face blush. Well, I honestly thought that that was actually a bronzer, not a blush, because it's really quite a deep colour, can you see? Um, so, it is sealed. But it's in the shade. Let's see if I can open it quickly. The reason I'm not opening all the products is just because I'm aware of how long it can take. I don't want, this is going to be a long video anyway. I don't want it to be even longer. Where's that old? So that's the colour just there. It's got Pixie by Pe Woo! Pixie by Petra imprinted into it. What happened then? Um, well, it's, maybe it's not quite I mean it's not really what I would class as a blush it's quite a um I would probably use that as a bronzer if I'm honest more towards a bronzer color but you know it's very nice and it's in beach rose Max. Oh, get the lid back on now there we go 
So that's day number 21. Uh, day number 22 is here. And what have we got in here? Wrong end. Do you know what? I am actually going to put all this back and open this in December though for myself. So even though I've opened it, I'm still going to allow myself a treat today. Um, okay, so here we have um, Zellens. I find it very reflecting. You see that? Zellens. Oh, there you go. And it just says Transformer Instant Renewal Mask. Um, and that's pretty much all it says. It's a 10 mil. And I guess that is what it is. It's a face mask, I guess. Sealed. So we shall see. I don't know if there's any kind of information about what's in here. There certainly wasn't that I could see in the packaging, but because it would be quite nice, like when we get the when we actually get the boxes monthly, they give you a little leaflet, gives you information about it. So um yeah. 23. Just down here, number 23. Okay. Okay, this is um, an Ico, and this is a fat eye stick. And I've had the Ico um, eyeliners, the gel eyeliner, liquid eyeliners. Um, I've had them. They do like a skinny and a fat one, and I've got both because again, I've got them in boxes. This is in the shade. It says intense color and glossy finish. This is in the shade. It just says eye stick satin. Doesn't have a color on it. We'll say that the packaging, if you can see just here, it's got like a crack, not a crack, but like a scratch down it. It's fine. I mean, it wasn't boxed, it was just like this, but it's fine. Let's have a quick look. Okay, and that's just like a glossy kind of, um, glossy, deep, rosy, browny colour. It's pretty much that colour there, but it's pretty. Um, I don't tend to wear a lot of eye stick colours, shadow things. Um, I find that might they tend to crease, um, but they are quite nice as a base. Always like a primer to pop that on underneath and then it just pop a little bit of shadow in certain bits and it's quite a nice um, uh, complement to each other then. So yeah, cute. Can't get it back in the packaging with all the squiggles. Three, okay, let's look at 24. 24 is just here. It was 24. It's quite a big box. Let's see what we have. Um, okay, Mitchell and Peach Flora Number no. One Fine Radiance Face Oil. Um in, an instantly absorbed oil packed with powerful natural antioxidants and vitamins to use massage two to three drops into clean skin alone or under moisturizer. So, um, okay. Oh, it smells quite, oh, okay, <laughs> careful. Um, it smells quite nice. Um, I just accidentally dripped some hair. Oh, a little one drop, literally. Whole hand, <laughs> yeah. So that's going to last a very long time and nice when you do have um, a bit of dry skin, especially with the cold weather coming up, you know, the wind gives you sort of like cheekbone, what is it? You know, wind chill kind of thing. So that's box number 24 and then finally it's Christmas Day, well it's not but you know, in Glossyland it is. Come on, back you go. I want them all to go back because... I want to reopen them, as I said. There we go. And so number 25 uh, is in the actual door. So I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to open the box as best I can. Sorry about this. Oh, let's just put this here. You right there, Maggie? Ooh, something I've done is just dislodged a load of glitter on my hand. Um, I don't really want to take the box off of the off of the door because I want to keep it where it is. I'm trying to get I'm holding it. Right. I'm gonna open the bottom of the box so that I can push. There we go. 
and we have finally oh the Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter Palette. So this is obviously brand new, full size. I've never had a Huda Beauty um, highlighter. I've got some of their eyeshadows. I do have um, Desert Dusk and oh, the, the first one that they did, which is lovely. Okay, so that's the palette. So we have like uh, Winter Rose Arctic Glow Frosted Kiss Northern Light. So let's just see if I can put some. Oh, right. Okay. So Frosted Kiss. This one here is like a cream. Let's see if I can get that where it actually picks up. Can't quite see it. It's very subtle. You can see it just in the light. It's just kind of like. It's just here, there it is, quite subtle, like um, sort of like orangey tones almost. And you have Arctic Glow. I don't think you're going to have a problem seeing that one. Then you have Northern Lights. Ooh, there's Northern Lights. And then finally you have Winter Rose, which uh, the last three are all powders. And that's Winter Rose. Well, that's not as um, full on as I thought that would be. Yeah, it's just like shimmer. So Winter Rose, then you have the Frosted Kiss, then you have the Northern Lights, and you have the Ar Arctic Glow. And that's the four highlighters. Um, that's pretty cool. I mean, it comes with a little kind of thingy. Um, I'm not sure the re the wearability of it for someone like me. Um, thing with something like this is that um, this isn't something I would buy. I wouldn't go out and buy this because it's not something that I would feel I could work with. However, when you get it included in a package like this, it's great because it gives you something that is something that you wouldn't normally go out and purchase, but you've got it so you can have a go. Um, was Maggie um, highlighter palette melted cream and powder uh, it says a luxury blend of light reflecting pearls buildable glow effortless blendability so basically you apply the frosted kiss as a base which was the cream and So apply a frosted kiss as a base to a smooth and to smooth skin and amplify, 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 light reflecting pearls. Top up with Arctic Glow Northern Lights and Winter Rose, either combined or individually to shape and bring out the pop. So, okay, that kind of makes sense because if, as you saw my hand, like the, 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 the Winter Rose one particularly isn't like as well it's not as red as I thought it would be so let's just go back pop a little bit more of this frosted kiss back where it was there and then a little bit more of the winter rose over that oh okay so that now is the winter rose which is this one here over the frosted kiss so you can definitely see the difference so do you know that's really fun I think that's definitely something I'm gonna have a play about with and see what I could do with that. Um, if you look on her on the cover, you can see when you move it, the highlight effect, that's a really cool cover. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. That's, that's. I think this is the main, the main sort of the biggie as such, but oh, I'm dead chuffed with that. I think it's a really cool box, really cool advent calendar. I'm not gonna try and put that away now. Um, so basically I paid 75 pound for this. I got free postage. Um, do I think it was worth it? Yeah, I think so. For the amount of full-size products you get in there, um, you know, I think this is about forty odd pound on its own. You've got um, the Steve Laurent lip um, lip color here. You had um, oh, what did you have? The, the lip color with the, the flower in it. We've got a full-size mascara, an eyeshadow stick, uh, liquid highlighters, a blush, um, hair masks, uh, hand creams. 
literally 25 different products which is really good and I can honestly say that I don't think I have any of these in any of my glossy boxes which is really good because you know that's one risk that's one thing that worries me about getting a subscription box advent calendar is to get products that I've gotten in my monthly boxes which is just a bit of a shame you're repeating yourself so they're all brand new stuff so I'm really really pleased with this I think it's a really cool box box uh, calendar um, I'm 50 50 as to whether I get the birch box one because um, my understanding was like last year that they did a lot of small samples and they were repetitive of the boxes but I will research that and maybe let you know but as it stands if you wanted I know it's a bit pricey I know it's 75 pound or 99 pound dependent but if you wanted to treat yourself and get yourself a nice little mix up and not be committed to one particular brand, you know, I mean, there are amazing calendars out there, but they are one particular brand. So, you know, if you go for something maybe a bit more affordable, say like the sleek one, you're going to end up with quite a few eyeshadow palettes. If you go for something like the, um, oh, what's the other one? <sighs> So that's how I show you. You've got ones that are like going to be beauty products, soap and glory. You're going to get a lot of repetitive products. Um, and so this is a nice mix. It's a nice balance. You have a few hair products. You have some hair. You have some hand. You have some face. You have some makeup. You have some brushes. You have, you have a real nice mixture. And you get good quality stuff in here. So I would definitely, if you could, if you can and you want to treat yourself, like this is a good, good buy. I'm going to put everything back. Well, everything is back apart from this, which I'm going to put back. Um... And I am going to open this over Christmas. I am going to treat myself to one small treat a day because I think it's cool. And even though I know what's in it, I will forget because I have a head like a sieve. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you think about this calendar. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's a cool calendar? Um, please comment down below. And like I said, if you like this kind of video, could you give me a thumbs up? Could you click subscribe? That would be great. And have a great day.